Hello, my name is Corina Reinhout and I'm a design team member from Studio Light and today I'm going to show you four sets of stamps and cutting dies. These two belong together and for these two you can make a rotation wheel. I'll show you the back of the card. As you can see the stamp set belongs to this die cut. Then we have a waterfall card, waterfall effects that you are going to use on your card with the stamps that belong together as you can see. And then we have a pop-up card easy to make and fun to make but that's all with the combination of the stamps and today i'm going to make a card with these sets that's the floral pop-up well look at this oh well this is not the right i have a wrong uh paper in my stamp set but that's not so bad i know how i'm going to use it well let this put them aside and i'm going to make one petal because i have also already uh, made some petals and what do i need for this well i have used the fun papers we have also new paper pads unicolors and pattern papers the shades of blue and that is what I'm going to use. So let's get started. And what do I need? I need an acrylic block for to stamp my card. I already used it today, but I can't find it. And our new ink pad. So, and the card I am going to make is with this flower. I have already made a card with these dies and uh, stamps. If you want to see that, look at my socials and you can find it. Whoa, it's a bit too fast. You have to, well, that's the first tip you need. On the die, we have seven petals. On the stamp, we have six. So what you are going to do is you have to need a little piece more. So look out when you are going to stamp not too close to each other. So that's wet enough. I prefer to do it a little bit diagonal. I hope it's okay. <laughs> It's been a long time I made an English video for Studio Light because I haven't much time. So, excuse me when I'm choosing the wrong words. Well, let's clean that first because otherwise my stamp is already dirty and I'm going to use it the next time. And that's not so good. Where is it? Okay, cleaned ready to use another time now we are going to die cut this flower because i have already die cut it and stamped six of them so let's get my little baby machine first i have to use some well this is stencil tape from also from studio light at first you have to put it a little piece over your pants so it's not too sticky because it is very sticky and you don't want to damage your paper well i think it's okay to do it to cut it out like this so Come on with my machine. And I'm running through and back. So now it's definitely 
cut out. And there he is. Now what you have to do is fold it because you need to make a flower. Oh, and um, the way to make it, it's very easy this time because the designer who has uh, designed this thing made the instructions for you so it's not so difficult to make it. And that's with all the interactive cards she made now. So this one back. Yes, that was the right one. And now we are going to fold it. Let's fold the flower. And at the first time I prefer doing it like this because then my petals are a little bit more on each other. So later I'm going to use the bone folder to make a, a straight line. Or sharpen line so and then we have to do the fun part of it well I have already made done the first steps of my card so I hope it won't be very very long it won't take very long well this is done what do we do now? Well, we first have to glue the petals together. Ta-da! And I have a lot of flowers. Because you need seven. One, two. Where's my seven flower? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There they are. Let's glue them together. So put a little bit of glue on one petal. And hold it for a while so it fits okay then we are going to put some glue on the second one well I had done it before but sorry I was forgotten I could done it before now you have to wait a little bit longer so sorry so put some glue on the petal without the stamp and give it the time to dry well as you can see it's also going to be very quickly Four, so we need three to go and the best glue you can use is the tacky glue from studio light this one I think that's the best you can use it for all purposes oh, well not all but a lot wooden stones how you call this uh, cloth uh, oh I, I can't well the stuff where clothes are made from fabric that's the word I well how when I, I, I read it a little bit lower, I can see paper, cardboard, wood, fabric, stone, etc. I think my glasses are a little bit dirty, so I didn't see it. Well, that's the last one. And now we are going to put it together. And as you can see, the lady made an easy way to make it so you can lay them all together well first we have to go put them flat so like this and well I prefer doing it like this so 
Let's glue only on top. A little bit of glue. Not lower. Please not lower. And open it so you can see if you're not well with my shaky hands it was not in the right position but you don't want to have glue the back of the flower well now we need oh well i didn't want it to both colors so i'm going to use another color sorry sorry for that but i wanted the light blues these two i wanted to start it with the light blues so let's glue on this side Am I going to use another light blue? Well, why not? So, open your flower. See if it is in the right position. And then you can glue it down. Well, we need the other ones in the middle. Okay, yes, let's do that. So I have to going to use a lighter one on this side so a little bit of glue only on top put it in the right position and then it's not so difficult yeah everything looks always difficult but it isn't just try do it you can do it if i can do it you can do it well, now I'm going to use a darker one. And this one is going, look, we are going to do, we have first have done these three together. So C and B are here. And now we are going to glue the D one. Okay. Oh, this is the D one first. So we need on three positions glue, but I prefer to do it on well, on this one, because I wanted the darker in the middle. And then we need some glue in the middle. And let it a little bit better in position coming, like this. Well, that's okay. And then the last one, well, there was also glue on. So that's number four, or num uh, A, B, C, D. This is D. And it's going to be flat again, like that. Now we are getting some glue for the E. And the E is gluing on this one and this one. So we are going to need this petal. If you're not sure, try to put it open and see what it's going to be. Well, this is okay. So we need some glue on this petal. The second and the third. Okay, so let's glue the second and the third. And we are going to put some glue on these two. Hold it a little bit for a while. And it's glued together. Now I am have to, well, it's a little bit not very straight. But okay, let's try if it's coming good. Now I'm going to glue some on the one, two, three, four, fifth and sixth. Yes, like that. And now the last one. So number G. Number G was the last one, 
and number G is coming again on top over there so let's glue him on three points only at the top of the petals well oh, let's, well, normally I'm trying to do it one petal at a time I think that will be better, easier to do. Let's use them first the left and the right. When they are straight together, I'm missing two fingers. <laughs> so it's not so easy to do. Well, I think this will be okay. Let's give it a try. Look at that, how lovely. Well, I think. I think I have three of them. No. I was wrong. So, when we pull it out, we have this. We have three flowers. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Well, now we are going to make it in a card. First, what I'm going to do is put some stuff in my card. Oh no, we have also some leaves, but I prefer um, doing my leaves later. Because then I can see where I want the leaves. I did my homework, as you can see. Well, I made a card, and this card is A6. Yes, it's A6. And I have them. I made the layers four millimeter I don't know what you call that in English but four millimeter smaller do it like the way you are used to because some people love to make it five millimeters smaller and some love to make it three or two well I prefer four And I'm using the tape from Studio Light. And always using some glue because I, well, you know, my hands. And when I'm using glue, I have the time to put it in the right position. Like this. Well, that's the first one and the second one. Well, you know what? The front of the card I have already made. I loved it so much, these colors. And well, now I have a blue flower. But in nature, there are all kinds of color flowers. So I thought, why don't in blues? And I have seen it, my uh, colleague Suzanne, she made it in the uh, purple tones. So I thought, no, I am prefer, well, my glue is all almost done. I'm used to put it with the top upside down. So I can get everything out of it. Because it's too bad when you're going throwing a lot of it in the garbage. So. This is the thing you want, you need. And now we are going to glue this one inside the card. Well. When you put it flat, you can try what's the best position to put it in. Well, and as you can see, you can make uh, a, an extra fold line because it's a little bit thicker. Well, I don't mind. My other card I used. I think this position is the right position. So... Um, 
let's glue it only on the first petal so in the middle okay i hope well i can position it i'm using a piece of tape a little little piece straight on top where is my pickup tool? And I'm get rid of the back of it. Now I'm going to use some liquid glue, some tacky tape. Because I love that to use. And I need to put it upside down. So let's try to give it a little bit of space and straight in the middle. Well, a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. No, I think I'm really straight in the middle. And now we can fold it open, but you can also do it in a different way. Let's do it in the different way. Maybe that's the easiest way. Where is my glue? Over here. Put this on top in the middle of your flower, the, the middle part, middle petal. Yes. And then again, some glue. Straight on there. And now we are going to put this like that. Close the card. And let's hope it's working. Let's hope that. Well, first, the first time I put it open like this. So I'm really sure they are glued to the back. Well, this is my, this is the back of my card. How fun is it when you open your card and you have a bunch of flowers? Well, let's give the flowers some leaves. And I love to put them a little bit like that. So I used the darker ones and the lighter ones, but I used also the, the back of the pattern papers, the leftover pieces. Well, I think I'm going to put a little bit glue on there. Let's glue it like that. And a little bit glue on the back and let's put it behind the flowers so now it's on your paper and not straight on your flowers but hey i think it's lovely like this well let's give it a little bit this direction that's better and now i need to more on top a lighter and a darker one so don't you think it's funny to make this one I think it is and when you see it in the package you think well that's so difficult to make but it isn't you see and how funny it is to make well let's put this one on this side I prefer doing that because then it's both sides together the same. I love that. In nature, in nature it isn't. I know. But I like that this way. And this, I prefer to put it a little bit like that. And I gluing one over here. Like this. And I need another one. The other side, also a bit of glue, and then my inside of my card is done. I hope you liked it. So let's glue the the other part on top of my card. So look at that, how lovely it is. And you make you can do it with all kind of papers. You can do uh, unicolors. You can 
use pattern papers you can use watercolor paper and color it in with your pencils you can use um, um, alcoholic paper and yeah well color color it in with your alcohol uh, markers well this one is not well I it's it's fits let's not do anything more you see that how lovely well I love this pet and on top I have already make a fun front for the card also in the same colors because that's what I love I don't when I'm using one color I'm normally not choose much more colors to use so it's all in blue tones and I love it and I hope you do so when you like my video thumbs up and subscribe to the studio light movies and also my channel if you like and I said my name in the beginning of the video Corina Reingaut from studio light wow oh I love this card very much I think I'm I keep it I'm never going to put it away I like it so much because I use a lot what I did also use and you I show it you later look at that it's the same colors we have in the blue tones and this rope hemp rope we also have in the in all the colors so in the browns in the greens in the purples and in the blues how great is that i love ribbon i love rope so i'm so happy they made it a little bit glue on top and look at this well i'm going to show you what i use for this i used for the circle the outer circle not the, the with yeah what do you call it a wheel uh, tone well it's going to fit already let's do uh, yes now it's good i have used <coughs> a die cut all the die cuts are from studio light but look how lovely it is simple clean it's time to celebrate well what did i use for that i used oh where is it where are you dear this stamp set that belongs to the waterfall and i used the, this die for the circle well thank you for watching and i hope to see you on the next video bye bye